So what's going on with Lamar Odom and the Kardashians? Well, maybe you should say what's going on with Lamar Odom's father. Joe Odom pretty much is blaming the Kardashians for his son's issues, the drug issues and everything that's going on. Says, listen, man, Mary and Chloe was the biggest mistake of Lamar's life decisions so far. And he even said something to the fact that all the Kardashians want to do is get your money and wear the pants in the family. They don't need his money. They got money. Not only that, Chloe dropped the Odom from her Instagram name. Hell, Lamar only use it when he playing with the Lakers. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, one time he went out there and said Kardashian on his jersey. <laughs> right. It was at the height of everything, though. Well, Lamar went on this crazy long Twitter rant about the Kardashians. It's probably the longest Twitter rant ever. He wasn't there to raise me. My mother and grandmother raised me. Queens raised me. For the first time since they left, came a blessing of a family that I married into. That sounds like them house slaves and gang members. Okay. <laughs> both, honey. But no, Lamar made it very clear to y'all that the Queens raised him. Wait, he's, he's, the census. he's from Queens. His That's mama. what he meant. No, 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 no. Well, he honey. said, I was raised in Queens. That he said, no, I was raised by the Queens. So Lamar is defending the multi-million dollar brand of the Kardashians over his deadbeat daddy. Is that an issue? Hell no, that's not an issue. I will too. You know, I mean, I yes, the Kardashians are never <laughs> did nothing to me. And I'm not Lamar, I'm Tim Buck. <laughs> so, Ricky, why are you talking like that? Why are you talking? They's been good people to me, these <laughs> here good white folk. <laughs> As you should, because you know what? Those drugs ain't cheap. How do you think they captured Lamar? Oh, uh, they probably had like a like a, you know, a hot apple pie in the back of a van. They lured him in. It was like <laughs> it was a basketball next to it. As soon as they got in there, that big car that Chloe, she closed the door. They throw a sleeping bag over him and the van takes off. He wakes up in LA on the Lakers. <laughs> So that's how he got to the Lakers. Hey. Oh, story.